Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Winning Women Wednesday with Lady Renee of Transformation Community Church. Thank you all so much for tuning in today and I pray that all is well with each and every one of you. Well, today I just stopped by just to briefly talk to us a little bit about self-control. Amen. As we know, self-control is one of the fruits of the Spirit. Um, it is the last one listed, but that does not mean it is the least important of the uh, fruits of the Spirit. By definition, self-control, it says, is ability to control oneself, particularly one's emotions and desires, or expression of one's behavior, especially in difficult situations. In Galatians 5, again, uh, chapter 5, verses 22 through 23, Paul lists um, the fruits of the Spirit. Um, and self-control is one of those spiritual virtues that is listed. Amen. Um, it is also necessary for us to have and practice self-control in order for us to live a um, successful Christian life, right? We have to bear good fruit. Amen. And so, you know, self-control, it is a... Um, it's an attribute as well as um, the other fruits are, of course. Um, I, I feel like that in order for us to develop the self-control or any of the other fruits of the Spirit, we're talking about self-control today. To develop and cultivate the self-control, we have to um, pray and ask God for that. We have to study and read God's Word, and we have to have the help of the Holy Spirit. It will not happen without the help of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so... Um, when we do that and when we're developing the, our um, self-control, it allows us to resist temptation. Amen. And it helps us to avoid conforming to the ways and the things of this world. And it also um, guides our decisions, all right, um, and it as it correlates with the other fruits of the Spirit. Example, patience. You have to have self-control in order to have patience. They go together, right? And so... Um, Proverbs 14 and 29, it says, whoever is patient has great understanding, but one who is quick tempered displays folly, right? It is our sinful nature that leads us to give into that our temper, right? We've all been guilty of it. We've been OC, as they say, out of control, right? And we say that jokingly sometimes about, you know, people in different situations, but um, the truth of the matter is we've all done that. We all know someone who operates in that and they just chalk it up and say, oh, you know, this is who I am. It's the way it is, it's the way I am. Um, even go so far as say, God made me this way. No, he did not. You know, he didn't make us to be or intend for us to be out of control, you know, without um, practicing any self-control. We just give in to anything, sets us off. We just give in to any temptation. Um, and we do everything that's outside the will of God because we are not practicing self-control. Amen. And again, we can't do it on our own, right? So we have to have a desire to want to do it, right? To want to change. Um, and then we need to... Um, Ask God and, you know, usher in the Holy Spirit because that is our help to help us with that. Amen. Um, and so, you know, exercising self-control, again, it is an essential practice of Christian living. Right. Proverbs 25 and 28 says a man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. Right. Um, the Bible tells us that we have to choose self-control. <laughs> you know, it is Holy Spirit empowered. And again, it's a choice. It is a choice. We are free moral beings and we have a choice. We can choose um, to operate in it. We can choose ask for help for it or not. You know, and, you know, unfortunately, everything that's going on in the world today, you know, just things, the decisions that people are making there just no, there's no control, right? We don't, we can't control our anger. We can't control our emotions. We're acting out of emotions, out of feelings, and every, you know. And then we all know how that ends, or how, you know. And so we just have to be in prayer for one another, be in prayer for ourselves, and just ask for self-control. Amen. Second Peter one five and six it says, for this re for this very reason, make every effort um, to supplement your faith with goodness. Goodness with knowledge, knowledge with self-control, self-control with endurance, and endurance with godliness. Self-control, it is something that we have to make an effort for in order to receive it. Amen. Um, it is done with the assistance of the Holy Spirit. We cannot do it. It will not happen 
without the assistance of the Holy Spirit. So listen, until next time, know that I love you, but God loves you so much more. Okay. Be intentional, love on purpose, and let's pray and practice self-control. Amen. Blessings. Mm -hmm.